Hi everyone, so this is our second of a crystal series that we're doing. It's the crystals for the month of June. And yes, I did say crystals because June, like, unlike every other month, seems to want three crystals. So I'm going to hone in on only one, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the other two. So the three crystals are Alexandrite, Pearl, and Moonstone. So Alexandrite is actually one of the rarest stones that there are. It's found in Russia and it's actually incredible this stone because it's green in daylight and then um, like in fluorescent light or night time it can go even towards a purplish red. And so it's a, a stone that changes color. Um, it's incredibly expensive. I wish I had a piece to show you but I don't and quite a stone of um, changeability, mystic, beautiful, very encouraging um, stone. I'd love to, to know more about it. I have not worked with it um, before, so I can't really tell you too much about it, but I really would love to get to know it better. The second stone, which I do know but, uh, and have worked with, is pearl. Pearl is a stone of innocence, of um, calmness, of you know, it takes ages for the oyster to make the pearl and it's a stone of incredible beauty as we all know it has that kind of luminous effect so it's like seeing beyond into a, a sense of clarity a sense of calmness a sense of knowing um, very very soothing stone pearls beautiful stones and the last moonstone which is actually the stone that i'm going to say for june because if you think about June, it's in the middle of the year. You have the summer solstice in June, on the 22nd of um, June. And that's kind of like really midway. Um, it really is like a stone of, moonstone is a stone of cycles, just like the cycles of the moon. And June is um, a month of cycling from winter to summer, spring to summer, or, or in the southern hemisphere to the midwinter, so it's midsummer or midwinter, depending on which hemisphere you're in. And it also represents the different cycles of your life. For, so for those not June babies that love moonstone, um, it's also very iridescent. It comes in many kind of iridescent white, but you can have also like a pinkish hue to it, even a greenish hue I see. It's such a fabulous stone. It's also, again, very soft. So it seems like all the stones of June are kind of like introspective stones. Stones of um, allowing gentle change. Stones of gentle intuition. So not harsh, very gentle. Changeability, if you think of the Alexandrite and its ability to change color. Um, and our ability to actually embrace change. So for a lot of us, change is really, really hard. Um, we fight it, we don't want to change. We like our little status quo. And for a lot of us, change is can be very um, scary. So Moonstone is a beautiful, beautiful stone to help you through the changes in life. Um, just like the moon goes from new moon to full moon and back again, so do our cycles of our life. They come, they go, people come, people go. We change up our work positions, we change where we live. Sometimes we stay longer in one place than another. Often a lot of us change more, more readily than others. So Moonstone is the stone to help you through that. So I hope that this little chat of our June stones has brought a little bit of more illumination and you'll go and you'll search on your own and learn to really embrace these beautiful allies that Mother Earth has given us and um, the water ele element of the pearl. So namaste everybody and wado ulun suti. Thank you crystals.